Hey guys, coming at you with another video. This is coming literally, I want to say, hours after I had just posted my last video. Um, I'm probably going to upload this maybe a day later, or maybe after this. Just depends. But, I am going to let you in on a little secret. Since this pandemic, or epidemic as I call it, of COVID-19 has been going around, Beware, be strong, do not fall for any scamming, scammers claiming to be from the agencies, such as Social Security or the IRS. Now, the way this is going to work, the stimulus checks are not coming from Social Security Administration. They're coming straight from the IRS. And anybody claiming to be from the IRS that's a scam. Let me tell you why. When you log on to irs.gov, it tells you straight up, do not call. There's nobody there. They don't have people answering phones right now. There is nobody there. That's scam number one. Scam number two, the obvious. People claiming to be from the Social Security Administration claiming that in order to get your stimulus check, you need to pay a certain amount to us before we release your check. That is a scam. Beware of scammers, people. These people are at large considering of what's happening. Save your money. Try to get that stimulus check the proper way. Don't fall into that trap. Okay? We or should I say I, already knew that the stimulus checks that are supposedly coming our way in about two or three weeks, which is literally in the middle of the month, is not coming from Social Security Administration at all. It's coming straight from the IRS, the Treasury. And um, Je uh, Jenny over here, Jess, brought up on that. And um, I already knew that. I don't know if she already knew that. But um, yes, this is just a short little video warning you guys to be extremely careful. As soon as they hand out your money, either through paper check or through your bank account, the IRS will destroy your information for your protection so that no scammer gets a hold of it. And... I had recently filed mine. As you can see, I am not going to open up to show you guys, but yes, this is an H&R Block. Apparently, as a disabled person, I needed to file uh, invisible taxes, as they call it, um, because really, there's nothing to file. I, I don't understand why we needed to file, but in order to get the stimulus check into my account, my bank account, I had to file. So there you go. If you guys haven't already, please go file your disability uh, taxes or however they're doing it right now. If you don't have to, don't, don't even. If you know you don't have to, just leave it alone. Um, I did this, did this as a caution because I could use that money and if if I had to file and I did not file, I would not receive it. Or even so, if I didn't file, I'd probably still receive it, but it would be at a later date. Probably in May. It would be under a paper check. And we're, uh, we're only here for about a couple of months now. We are going to be moving. I am not going to let you guys know exactly where just yet. But I, I am letting you on to a little secret. When we move, there is going to be certain changes to Mike's World TV. And the entertainment that I give to you, it will not be discussing things. It's going to be relating to uh, my life, reptiles maybe. Um, I'm trying to change things up here. Um, so yeah. 
be weary of scammers. That's what this video is about. This is a warning that they're out there in large. They're, they're at large right now. So please be careful, be vigilant. Look at your emails, read it, and if it seems fishy, just delete it. And as well, as these calls they come in, hang up. Just hang up. Because Social Security is not going to reach out to you out of the blue. And hey, here's, here's uh, Jenny for more information. Hi, everybody. Um, uh, okay. Basically, um, what they're going to, uh, disability, because uh, I had called them, they said, unless you get a letter in the mail saying you're not going to receive a check, like, you know, let's just say you get cut or something, don't have to worry about anything because your check will go through like it always does for disability people. And, um, you know, that I did a lot of calling today. Did a lot of research, and um, because I am working right now, and that's all I'm gonna say on that one. And um, you know, so I have to file taxes anyway. I don't have to worry about filing taxes for disability because they already have my information online. So, um, but if you get any calls or anything like that, just be careful. Yes, delete, uh, you know, basically, like, block their number. Um, you know, call, you know, the uh, proper people to inform them of the scamming that is going on. Um, any letters, I get a proper authorities, I would think, or however, however they would may have you do that. I'm not, I've never got a letter in the mail from a scammer, but... You never know the way this is going. Um, just be careful out there. You know, stay safe. Um, I know everybody's at home. I and I haven't been on my even my YouTube in a while because I just haven't had much to say. But um, yes, we will be moving, and yes, things are going to change for Mike'sville TV, and I might do some different things too. I haven't decided yet, but uh, we'll see. But anyway, back to what I was saying. Just be careful and don't trust anybody, okay? Especially if they say they're from the IRS, because I did call the IRS today and nobody's there. And um, they give you some general information on, uh, you know, the the website for um, the income tax, you know, online. Um, can you remind me? I can't think right now. Uh, the, um, you know, the, um, uh, IRS, there we go, <laughs> IRS stuck up, I'm sorry, guys, I'm not thinking today, my brain's a little fried, been being shut in for a while, um, the IRS stuck up, okay, they have a lot of general information, not enough, though, because they haven't updated their site yet, and, um, if you guys do file taxes through disability and have to, what you guys are going to need to do, though, is wait until they update the site online. Go up there, put your social in, and put direct deposit. If you do not, it will come in paper form. Yeah, you'll still get your check, but you'll have to wait a little bit longer. Instead of through uh, direct deposit, it'll come in paper. But I don't know how they're going to do this. They've been up and down. I've been reading a lot about people shouldn't do it, people should do it. More, over, more or less, it's people should file their taxes, whether, regardless, you're on disability or not. So, I just want to let you know. Um, and Mike does too. Uh, because we want everybody out there to, you know, be safe, especially if you're on disability. So there you have it, peeps. That was a video, and I hope you guys do heed the warnings. Um... So yes, please stay safe and don't head outside unless you don't, you know, unless you have to. Um, this thing is murdering people, killing people, and um, it's not a joke for some of these college people who think, oh, I won't get it, I'm young. I guess what? You'll get it. You'll get it. It's like the flu. 
anyone can get the flu. It doesn't matter. And anyone who thinks they can't get it, I'm sorry. You're to serious. say this on my channel, I'm not demeaning anybody, but you guys, are, uh, uh, those guys, those people are, they don't have any education. Honestly, I'm sorry. You know, really, for somebody to think, oh, I won't get it because I'm young, I'm fit, I got all these muscles, or oh, I'm just 20 years old, got a body of a model, I'm not going to get COVID. Guess what? There, there's little kids dying of COVID-19. There's babies dying of COVID-19. You have... Older people as well dying of COVID-19. We have lost about maybe five or six people who are famous of COVID-19. Mm -hmm. Kenny Rogers, Joe Diffie. And Kenny Rogers didn't die of it. Kenny Rogers didn't die. Okay, he didn't die of COVID-19, but the maker to I Love Rock and Roll, Alan Morrell, or Alan Morrell, I don't Songwriter. Songwriter for I Love Rock and Roll died of complications due to COVID-19. And that's a sad story. If you want to look it up, go ahead. But I will tell you this much. Joe Diffie, famous um, country star, died from COVID-19 COVID at 61. It doesn't discriminate. It does not. What? What Jenny said. It doesn't discriminate. Does not discriminate. It doesn't care about your age. It doesn't care how young you are. It does not care. You heard it from her. Right over there. And I'm telling you right now, you people. You know, I mean, I'm no offense, but seriously, stay inside unless you absolutely have to go out, like for food, for you know, let's say you have to pick up a check and there's no direct deposit. Go pick up a check. Do what you got to do while you're out. And then go home. I know it's boring. I know and, it's sad. And no hoarding toilet paper. What's that going to do for you? you Seriously. Food. You, need food. you need more food than toilet paper, guys. You you let people like on low income without toilet paper. Come on. Really? You left them without no medicine. Come on. We need that too. Mm -hmm. Not just the rich. What's wrong with you guys? Seriously. <sighs> well... That's all I got to say about that. I will catch you in the next one. Please, I hope you don't hate me. This is not against anybody. This is basically what we have free speech. Okay. And as well, please give this video a thumbs up. And as well, see you in the next one. Peace.